Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome back to the Super Formula Lights on iRacing for what is easily the most treacherous race I have ever taken part in. The weather is horrendous, the undulations of Road Atlanta make for an extra challenge, but I am starting in P2 and believe me when I say you don't want to go anywhere through this race. There is drama right to the end, but for now we're at the race start. Actually, starting on the outside here might be an advantage as the red lights are on we're about to go green and there we go we're underway a little bit tentative on the throttle but I've got a better start than pole sitter Alejandro Prades but Hannah Simmons has got a better start than both of us she's going to be appearing all of a sudden there having dived down the inside avoiding the very large puddle on the inside curb we're climbing the hill here and just taking it nice and easy into the S's for the first time trying to understand where is the green rip on this circuit unbelievably we've gotten through cleanly and I think most drivers have behind as well but I'm up on the curb there coming down the hill a river of water which really unsettled the car there Simmons unsettled on the exit so we're about a second behind then from Simmons up ahead we're in P2 Alejandro Prades behind in P3 we're coming into the right hander here and Simmons has taken too much speed in she span out she's off onto the grass and we are now up into P1 although for how long I've managed to get it up on the curb there I couldn't get the car slowed down and turned in in these tricky tricky conditions and now I'm under pressure from Alejandro Prades again he's just 0.1 seconds behind me now I'm gonna have the inside line but this is difficult because of the water that's gathered around the inside of these corners as we're just trying to get the car slowed down without locking up without aquaplaning there you go you see we splash through the water you lose control at the apex therefore you can be slower we managed to hold on though as Prades thought better than trying to hang it all the way along the outside he tried a bit of a switchback I think he just couldn't carry the momentum that he needed through that corner and we're going to start lap two then and we're going to come under challenge for Mark Onyamachi he's managed to get past Prades there he's going to be into T1 but he's carried too much speed again just overestimating the grip levels Onyamachi as out of contention by the looks of things and speaking of out of contention Hannah Simmons led away from that opening set of corners unfortunately she just overestimated the grip as well into the right hander and here's a quick replay of that fantastic side by side action between my Myself on the inside, Prades on the outside. You'll see what I mean here about trying to get the switch back. He took a nice wide entry. He was hoping to get more momentum on exit, but in fairness to him, he was nicely cautious there. Obviously, it's difficult to see with the spray right ahead of you. He's thinking about getting down my inside at the final corner there, but again, there's just not quite the grip to be confident down the inside. That gave Onyamachi a chance to get past Prades. Look at how close he is to my rear end there, but he just overestimated how much speed he'd be able to get through here we go from one of the drivers following behind look at how close that was that could have been a huge shunt we're on to lap two then and I'm still leading from Prades. We've got Carlos Bondera in P3 about a couple of seconds back and I'm just still fighting the car through these corners and I'm particularly struggling right here. You can see there I've not mastered the line in through that corner to avoid the apex but not run too wide and that is going to put me under pressure from Prades once again as we come down the back straight here. He's 0.3 seconds behind. I can't see him in the mirror because of the spray. He's pulled out now to the outside he's on the racing line here I'm gonna get onto the racing line as well this time I'm gonna dare him to go down the inside thankfully he doesn't unfortunately I've really struggled to get the car slowed down I'm in deep thankfully I didn't straight line the chicane there but it has compromised my exit and Prades is sensing an opportunity here down the hill he's got the inside line I can't really hold it around there not safely not with the track as wet as it is so we have to concede p1 for now we've dropped back into p2 and let's just take a quick look back at that you can see i'm in deep there to the first part of the chicane yes i'm able to get to the next apex but all the way through the corner part is carrying more speed he carries that down the hill he's then confident enough to take the inside line this time around he really was close to the puddles there on the inside but he managed to make the move stick now then 
behind us there were all sorts of splashes and accidents going on this is Bandera losing the car through the final corner there he's going to drop back in the pack as a result of that then it would be the turn of Abi Romani coming through the first corner again just trying to push the car too hard the rear end wouldn't stick and then we're on board again with Mark on your match and he's going to be caught out by Vashur and spinning up ahead and he's going to get damage and we're now on to lap 14 then because of all of those incidents behind me I've been able to build a bit of a gap but unfortunately Prades he's just got too much speed he's lapping a second or more quicker per lap I'm just about beginning to get more confidence in the car the weather has actually eased a little bit we're beginning to see a bit of track transition here where drying patches are appearing but it's all about confidence to go and try and push the car that little bit further and risk going too early and essentially there aren't many parts of this lap where you can have a small accident if you go off at high speed yeah you might recover the car but you might not you might be in the barrier and at the minute I'm running P2 I can't really imagine challenging Prades for P1 except I've just had a message through from my team radio to say that he's in the pits what on earth has happened surely he can't be on for a switch to dry tyres there's no way that the track would accommodate that even if there are dry patches appearing on circuit it's still raining so he must have gotten caught out in some kind of incident we're going to find out a little bit more here as we come through the final corner is he going to appear on my relative board are we going to go to the top of the standings we are I'm up into P1 and here's why as we take a look at the replay then of brothers coming through the final corner and he's made a huge mistake and just as I was saying the risk of a high speed crash here is enormous and that's exactly what we've seen he didn't need to push but he's just overstepped the line and that is him out of the race and it's me up into p1 and i was able to hold my pace relatively well keep the gap pretty significant to the drivers behind and I'm about to start my final lap of this race now we've got a back marker up ahead it's Antonio Gonzalez and he's a 0.8k rated driver he didn't get out of it on the start finish straight I've been distracted and I'm off onto the grass through T1 I just about managed to hold it I really wish he'd gotten out of the gas and pulled to the inside really impossible to follow through there impossible to pass through there and I just got a bit spooked and I nearly through this result away I've got back on track here I'm not going to press home and overtake here on Gonzalez I'm going to wait and see if the chance arises I should have a big enough buffer to the drivers behind I really do not want to throw this result away it has been years since I got a win in an open lobby on iRacing here we go then through the double right hander just taking it nice and careful Gonzalez has come right to the inside he is lapping extremely slowly here we're giving up loads of time from my previous best he has pulled off to the right hand side so we're gonna get clear passage down the back straight I really don't blame Gonzalez by the way it must be an absolute nightmare to be approached by faster traffic in these conditions he did get out of the way when it was safe we round the last corner and we take the checkered flag and the win the first win I've had in an open ranked race on iRacing since July 2021 in the US USF 2000 an unbelievably long wait but it's finally finally arrived now were we the fastest car on track today no we weren't Prades had much more speed and there were a couple of other drivers further back as well but we did get the car to the finish we drove as quickly as we needed to and we brought home the win if you want to see more action from the Super Formula Light series check out the video that's on screen now